Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In March and April 1958, four Boeing B-47s suffered fatigue failures resulting in wing losses. After the fourth accident, a fleet recovery program was initiated. This required development of a structural integrity program that included FSFT or fatigue requirements for aircraft structures. This program was completed in 1959 and the US Air Force adopted safe life fatigue design principle and a permanent aircraft structural integrity program that included FSFT. Now this became a formal requirement or rather mandatory in 1969 for US Air Force. This is the time from when Air Forces have started looking into the fatigue of aircraft to get an approximate idea about the life of its airframe. Fatigue is a common occurrence among all metal frames. Due to repeated flight cycles and frequent use, the metal elements of the plane becomes weakened over the time and they will eventually require attention and repair. This weakness manifests in crack which are microscopic at first. With continued aircraft use over the time, the cracks grow larger and eventually become more and more visible. An aircraft begins to age after its first flight and effects of corrosion and fatigue occur almost immediately. Aging becomes an issue when aircraft can no longer be effectively repaired or sustain the rigors of flight. The sign of fatigue are more pronounced in aging aircraft and become more dangerous as the aircraft is continually exposed to atmospheric pressure and temperature. Because of this, after a certain number of flight cycles, a number calculated by manufacturers to ensure safety, an aircraft should be retired. This regulation is meant to prevent any catastrophic failures. Now, as per the latest update, HL has commenced the main airframe fatigue test or MAFT of LCA Tejas Mark 1 airframe at its ground test center of the Aircraft Research and Design Center in Bengaluru. As per the military airworthiness requirement, MAFT has to demonstrate the ability and capability of airframe to withstand four times the service life. This test will be carried out on an LCA MK1A airframe over a period of 8 to 9 years. The successful completion of MAFT will qualify LCA Mark 1A airframe for its full service life cycle. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.